Hey, welcome back, man. We're getting elbows deep into the ABS system on our 93 Buick LeSabre, and we did indeed find a lot of issues. Yeah, the first one, major safety issue, we were having bypassing the master cylinder, so the pedal just kept going down. So we replaced that to get the vehicle back on the road and do some evaluation. And you could tell in here, it was full of junk, full of garbage, man. Yes, yeah, so we've probably eaten up the seals. You're just not getting quite that pressure build up. Right. But that's not the only problem we've got. The owner is complaining about an occasional pull to the right under braking. Now, sometimes that could be hardware. The hoses could swell and so forth. But we did a visual inspection of the hardware, and everything looks pretty good. Yeah, all the pads are wearing correctly. The rotors look pretty decent. So next thing we're going to do, we actually have an ABS light is check the codes. Right, and for those of you that don't know how ABS works, just imagine a controller, a set of valves, and some sensors. And that sensor's reading that tire spin, that rotor turning really fast. Right before it locks up, before it goes into a skid, it's gonna see that rapid deceleration of that skid, and it's gonna decrease that line pressure and let those calibers come off that rotor to keep spinning. Now to increase pressure and decrease line pressure really rapidly, sometimes 40, 50 times a second, because it knows a car can't go from 70 to zero in a second. It can, you just probably don't want to be in it when it does, right? Yeah, now it's really important for brake safety, but it's even more important for steering. Because if you lock up your wheels and try to turn the wheel and, and get the car yeah. to move, you'll just keep going straight. But with ABS, even though you got that sort of shaking feeling going on, you can full hammer that brake pedal and you can still steer out of a maneuver or out of a bad right. situation. For those of you that have ever seen ABS and you drive in winter conditions, you'll feel that pulsation in your pedal if you hit some snow or ice, that that vibration. That's what you're actually feeling in the pedal. All right, so we do some code reading. Yep, we've got a code AO45, left front inlet valve circuit. So it kind of makes sense if the left front valve is open, uh, when we clamp down on the right, the car's gonna yep. pull to the right, Okay, so we probably got a stock inlet valve in our ABS unit, right and by looking at the crud in that master yeah. cylinder, it's probably made its way down into that ABS unit. So between feeling it in the vehicle, reading the codes, looking at some of the other diagnostic yeah. you know, opportunities we've got, it's probably yeah. time to start pulling that ABS unit. All right, we got the ABS unit out of the car and on the bench. Now, we just can't go put the new one in without taking the old one apart and seeing how it works. Right on. Hopefully, we're going to see some nasty stuff when we pop this top right here. Yes, yeah, so this is the valve body side. Got it? All right. Go. And then underneath, so these are the solenoids. These are going to control the valves and where the fluid's able to go. What's a... Uh... Oh, yeah. So you can see the transfer here. We've already got a lot of really nasty yeah. looking... Look at all that stuff that's in the fluid. Now, a lot of that black stuff is just contaminants from O-rings and so forth. And understand, when you push that fluid, all right, when you bleed your brakes and you push those, uh, those brake pads back on the pistons, and a lot of times, oh, look at all that. We'll push all this contaminant, debris, moisture, and so forth back up into the lines and back up into this guy. And as you can tell, it is covered, absolutely clogged up right here. Now, the other thing, too, the reason why you want to flush your system Check out the inside of this line. So this is a standard line. I think this side you can see even better. You can see the copper in there. So there's a copper lining in there, protective coating, and there's additive packages in the brake fluid, just like you have in oil. So they're anti-corrosive, moisture inhibiting, but once those break down, then you start to eat away the copper. So now you have this copper leaching into your system right. along with the moisture, and those additives keep the seals intact. So a lot of that black content is probably a lot of the seals, maybe some of that master cylinder broken down. So Anyway, that's the inside of how one of these are and how important it is to keep that system clean because these can be pretty pricey. Yeah. Now, we've got a new setup here from AC Delco. So again, we've got the motor, we've got the valve body, we've got our little gasket that sits right here. And once we mount these two together, we'll transfer a couple of bolts over. It's ready to go back in the car and get bled. Yeah, man, this is kind of cool. Houston, we have debris. <laughs> All right, just topping off the brake fluid there. We let it gravity bleed for about an hour now. Now we're ready to cycle this pump. Because with this ABS system, you can do the old school thing. If you get a master cylinder, you let it gravity bleed, and then you go to the pedal and do the pump thing as well. Now we get to cycle the pump. Speeds things up just a little faster. Well, you got a lot of cavities in there, all of the valves and everything, so you can get a lot of pockets to trap air. Well, it's nice, it's a unit like this. Not only could we read codes, but we can do input. I can cycle the valves so I can hear them clicking. And I can also run the pump which is an auto bleed function. So let me get in here and get that kicked off. So there we go. I don't know if you Who's can that? hear the motor cycling. 
Now it's a high pressure pump and it's cycling through. It's opening up all the valves, cleaning out all the air. It's so much quieter than what it was. Yeah. Didn't have all that debris in there hammering the valves. Now we got air on the front side or on the far side of the ABS unit. We've got to get that out still. So we can go back to gravity bleeding, letting some of those bubbles go out towards the back of the car and the ends, or just go right into the foot, get yeah. that thing till the pedal's nice and firm, lock it down, then we're good to go. Yeah. Now, big thanks to Federated Auto Parts, hooking us up with all the goodies here for Tons Jay's car. Stuff. Yeah, keep this thing running for another 100,000 miles.